Hello there, welcome to the Peak Tech channel. My name is Abay Akhatov. Here we discuss cryptocurrency market and everything related to cryptocurrency. Our today's discussion topic is 10 of the best Bitcoin podcasts. Podcasts to listen in 2021. So let's get straight to it. So as the crypto space has matured, podcasts, podcasts covering Bitcoin and cryptocurrency have proliferated. Here are some of our favorites. And um, while Bitcoin has shaken up the world of finance over the last decade, there has been a parallel revolution in the media, the rise of podcasts. According to Apple Podcasts, there are now over 1 million shows available and 30 million podcast episodes. March 2020 saw more than 63,000 new shows released compared with just over 25,000 editions in September 2019. It's perhaps inevitable then that one of the major sources of news and information in the cryptocurrency space is crypto podcasts. And there are plenty to choose from. We've trolled through the many podcasts covering Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and rounded up the best of the bunch. So the first podcast for today is the Bitcoin Podcast Network. You can see it here. This is the front page. So the Bitcoin Podcast Network is one of the longest running and most consistent Bitcoin centric podcasts. Since, 20, uh, since 2015, it's helped to break down what many consider to be a complicated topic, bringing on guests, including crypto bigwigs like Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin and uh, Misari senior research analyst Ryan Watkins to help dissect the industry and convey it in a fun, conversational style to listeners. The podcast's hosts Corey and Dimitrik do an excellent job of teasing useful insights, anecdotes and stories out of their guests, and each episode is as var varied as they are long. Set aside uh, an hour or two for this one that you can see right now. With the Bitcoin Podcast Network, you can expect a little bit of everything surrounding cryptocurrency and its diverse culture. The next one in our list is the Decrypt Daily. So uh, this is Decrypt's own podcast. The Decrypt Daily is as fine as a show as you could hope to listen to, released as the same as the name would suggest every weekday. It sees host Matthew Aaron, uh, formerly of Crypto 101, pour over the day's news which, with insightful interviews featuring crypto luminaries. So listeners call the Decrypt Daily a gem, informative, straight to the point and exceptional. And unlike many of the crypto shows out there, it doesn't outstay its welcome either. Episodes usually clock in around 20 minutes long, a far cry from the hour plus marathons you'll find in some crypto podcasts. The guest interviews are concise in an almost radio news format, which is great. Edited well and we appreciate the fat being trimmed, said one listener. Okay, so let's flip to the next one. Hasher8. You can see the main page here. H-A-S-H-R-8 podcast. So if you've ever mined cryptocurrency or even thought about doing so, then the Hasherate podcasts might be right up your alley. The podcast explores topics for both newcomers and more advanced users in an accessible and entertaining way, with prominent figures in the crypto space contributing knowledge. Guests include the likes of CoinGecko's Bobby Ong and BlockFi CEO Zach Brentz. Though much of the content centers around cryptocurrency mining and recent developments in the sector, it also delves into some of the less explored areas of the crypto space. How retail investors can grow their crypto stack. Why China dominates the Bitcoin mining industry. And um, general investment tips and tricks. So this podcast may be one of the more tech heavy on this list. But there's definitely enough content in there to give even inexperienced users something to sink their teeth into, which is great, I think. 
So the next one in our list is the Poem Podcasts. With over a half, um, with over a half million followers on Twitter, Anthony Pompiliano is one of crypto's big hitters and uh, with his show The Pump Podcast, uh, which is formerly known as uh, Off the Chain, he's used that influence to back interviews with big names from the cryptocurrency space and beyond. In recent months, he's played host to the likes of Binance CEO Shangpeng CZ Zhao, former CFTC chairman Chris Giancarlo and NBA player Spencer Dinwiddie. Pompiliano's approach is to focus on the impact of blockchain, crypto, and the decentralized web on the financial sector, from investing and fundraising to everyone's favorite topic – regulations. Between the quality of the guests and the host's background in crypto investing, he's a co-founder and partner at Morgan Creek Digital. There are some great insights to be had. A worthwhile perspective-widening lesson for even the most avid Bitcoin enthusiast. Let's jump to the next one. What Bitcoin did Rising to become one of the most popular crypto podcasts since its launch in 2017, What Bitcoin did has taken host Peter McCormack to 30 countries as he tracks down and interviews leading figures in the crypto space. Though since the coronavirus pandemic kicked in, he has been confined to the less glamorous surroundings of Bedford. So as well as interviews with the likes of the Winklevoss twins, Vitalik Buterin and Zuko Wilcox, the podcast is a good place to start for crypto neophytes. With a handy beginner's guide to Bitcoin series to get you up to speed. So you can hear it, you can see it here on the YouTube. Um, let's give it a listen, perhaps. So I think you got the idea. Let's move to the next one. Unchained and confirmed. Laura Shin, host of Unchained, is an independent journalist and a no-coiner. Unchained has been running since 2016, making it one of the more established podcasts in crypto, and it's played host to many major names from the space. The likes of former acting con comptro uh, comptroller of the currency Brian Brooks and CEC Commissioner Hester Pierce have come on the show to share their thoughts on the regulatory environment, while investors such as Michael Saylor, uh, Chamas Pali, Paliapitia, Mike Novogratz and Raul Pal discuss economic trends. You can see it over here as well. I believe you get the idea. Um, so Shin also hosts a second podcast, Unconfirmed, which is somewhat more concise and targeted than its sister show. It focuses on answering the important, looming questions that each new cycle in blockchain brings. Episodes last around 20 minutes and feature experts uh, tackling critical topics, like what impact the Biden administration could have on the world of crypto. The next one. Bully Esquire. Launched in October 2020, Bully Esquire is a relative newcomer on the scene, but is already off to a strong start. While the format's a familiar one, a long-form interview podcast with most episodes clocking in at an hour, the hook here, here is its host's background as a corporate attorney. Bringing his legal expertise to the table, he covers topics such as how lawyers are responding to the evolution of crypto regulations and the impact of crypto privacy on government policy. Next, A16 That Podcast. Silicon Valley based legacy venture capital firm Andresine Horowitz also moonlights as a media company producing this particular podcast. It offers listeners expert commentary and uh, high level analysis from some big-name investors like 
general partners Ben Horowitz and Chris Dixon. While the podcast isn't specifically focused on crypto, several episodes do touch on the decentralized web, covering, covering topics as diverse as crypto art, uh, tokenizing fan communities and the future of crypto. The show, which releases multiple episodes a week, is also worth a listen for its broad coverage of the entrepreneurial space, covering topics ranging from textiles to TikTok. Next, Invest Like the Best. Hosted by pro investor Patrick O'Shaughnessy, Invest Like the Best is tailored for those keen on learning about market trends and innovative investment strategy. While it's more finance-heavy than many of the Aussies on this list, there are a number of episodes that delve into blockchain and how the technology is disrupting the great flow of money, interviewing the likes of Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong and Paxa CEO Chad Cascarilla. So if you're in the blockchain world and you're hunting for useful business context and strategy, this is your gem. O'Shaughnessy is the CEO of his own asset management company and typically hosts other venture capitalists, researchers and authors. Um, listen to an episode or two and uh, I guess you'll feel a little smarter by the end of it. Uh, I believe this must be the last one. Yep, Epicenter. Epicenter is an appropriate name for this podcast. It's one of the most established in the crypto space, having been around since 2013 and it's hosted some of the biggest names around. The likes of Charlie Schramm, Vitalik Buterin, Gavin Anderson and Joe Lubin share their thoughts on the evolving world of Bitcoin and crypto in uh, long-form interviews released every Thursday. And they are long. Most episodes clock in at well over an hour, and some even run to two installments. So, let's give it a listen here. So, I believe you get an idea. Nevertheless, between the thoughtful Q&As and the host's own observation, each hour plus episode feels like it's not long enough. Okay, folks, so this is pretty much it. I hope uh, the video was useful for you. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to one or two podcasts that I've named. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Good luck.